What is up you guys and good morning. It's Samantha from Fandiverse Comics back with more comic book news. So it is Monday which is the day before New DC and that means Future State is finally here. Something I've been very anxious about and excited for. Uh, there's actually a lot I added to my list personally to read. I just only grabbed a couple for myself this week and I'm gonna grab the rest hopefully today or tomorrow. But there's so many amazing covers that I want to dive into and a lot of great titles. A lot of people are like very skeptical about the whole future state which I totally understand because when they do something totally out there it can either be a really good thing or it could be a really bad thing. But the cool thing about this is that there's so many different stories and different writers and different art styles that none of them are going to be the same and some may be really good some might, might not be that good. But the ones I've read so far, I'm pretty stoked about. But the first comic I do want to talk about is not one that is part of Future State, but the final issue of a big comic. And that is going to be Dark Knight's Death Metal 7, which is the final chapter to Dark Knight's Death Metal. The conclusion and actually the ending leads into Future State. And I finally got to see that into one of the comics this week as well for Future State. So right here, this is the cover I grabbed for myself by Jay Lee, which I love. But I'm going to share all the other covers because they're so good. There's one by um, David Finch, which is also, I was debating which one I was going to get. The one by David Finch is amazing. There's also one by Art Germ, which is cool. I love Art Germ. He's one of my favorite artists. Um, wasn't the, my top one out of Dark Knight's Death Metal. And then we have the regular A cover, which is a foil like emboss with Wonder Woman. So those will be out for Dark Knight's Death Metal. The ending is awesome. The whole thing was good. Definitely want to add that one to your list. Now let's finally dive into some Future State. And the first one on my list is going to be Harley Quinn number one, Future State. And there's also a pretty awesome B cover, which I'll share both covers right here. I didn't add Harley Quinn to my list this week just because there were so many and I had to decide which ones I really wanted to add to my personal collection. But on the cover, it's pretty cool. Harley Quinn kind of reminds me of Tank Girl in a way with her hairstyle, but definitely seems pretty cool. The next one I'm going to talk about is going to be Su Superman of Metropolis, number one, which is basically about Clark Kent's son taking over as the role of Superman. There's also a... What is in his name? Is it in Huckley? In Huckley did the B cover. Not my favorite cover. I hate talking about cover... like. And he's saying anything negative because everybody has their own opinions about covers. Just wasn't my favorite of the week. But I'll share both of those right here as well. Next is going to be one I actually did add to my list. One I couldn't, I was waiting for so much. And that's going to be Swamp Thing number one. That, the A cover I grabbed and I grabbed the B cover just because I loved both. I was like, I can't decide. So I grabbed a B cover as well. I'm going to share co both covers right here and the artist's name because from, I can't even pronounce the name right. I know it's Dima... Ivana, something like that. But in that story, you do get to see a lot of new characters and a new take after the whole Dark Knight death metal battle and what happens to the multiverse. So this basically dives into what happens after that, which was kind of cool how they tied, weaved that in there. And I'm already, I read it, I loved it. I can't wait for the next book, so. And next one on my list is gonna be The Flash, which is one I also added to my list, but I didn't have a chance to read. I'll probably read it either today or tomorrow. But just the cover alone on the A, the A cover, tells me enough that I'm like, oh, I need to read this and add this to my list. Just, I believe, I think it's Wally West just looking crazier than ever. And then on the B cover, which is one of my favorites this week, where he just looks crazy. I think it's an older version of Wally West, just like an old version since it is Future State, and he just looks mad. And I'm, I'm curious to see what they do with him. And yeah, I'm just, it's more like out of curiosity. The next one which everybody if you know me you know i'm obsessed with batman but this is the next batman it's called future state next batman and this is not bruce wayne this is a new character not a new character but it's a character we've seen before and actually actor i feel like i can't say anything in case you don't know who this new batman is i don't want to give it away for you but if you have been keeping up with the news you should already know but anyways you get to see this new batman take over for gotham now that bruce wayne has somehow he's missing and I really like their take on it. I like the art style because it kind of gave me a 90s feel, like I was reading like a 90s comic. Just like the way they did the paneling and everything like that. But more than I loved the book, it, there was two side stories, like two little random stories in the back. And one of them I liked more than I liked the book. And that was The Outsiders, a Future State Outsiders. 
which it continues after that and on the next Batman number three, it will continue to the outsiders. But I enjoyed that story the most. I feel like the fight scenes, everything was just well done. But the next one on my list, one I did add, haven't had a chance to read, and one that's like this huge hype for this whole future state thing is Wonder Woman number one, which it's like a whole different Wonder Woman. They keep calling her the Brazilian Wonder Woman, which I'm trying to figure out why, because yeah, so I need to figure out why, and I'm excited to read it. The cover, oh, the B cover is a Jenny Frizen. So nice. All these covers this week, I was, I was very rarely disappointed by any of them. I'm gonna share pretty much everything. And plus, after all of these comics, they, for all, most of these comics, they did a, a C cover, which is like, for, it was supposed to come out, it was all Wonder Woman 1984, and it was actually supposed to come out before the movie, but the way things happen, they just finally released them now for every single one of Future State C covers. But one that actually I didn't know that was coming out, and it's the last one I'm actually gonna talk about, it's gonna be Generation Shattered, number one and i haven't had a chance to read it dive into it but that'll be out this week and i'll share those covers here i just had no idea it was coming out it actually caught me off guard but that'll be out this week as well so those are all the comics i want to talk about today but stay tuned for my next video because tomorrow i'm actually going to talk about all the marvel indies things like that so stay tuned